Hi, <clears throat> welcome to another mini lecture on precalculus. Today's topic is amplitude and period of a sine or cosine function. So I'm happy to say this is going to be back to the mini lectures. We have uh, very little to do with respect to this topic. So what is uh, amplitude? Let's uh, remember that when we have the sine of x, it's a graph that we said looks like this. Uh, start at 0, pi over 2 reaches its maximum at pi, so 0 in pi over 2, and then pi, and then 3 pi over 2, and then 2 pi, and then repeats, because we are going on a circle over and over again, so we have uh, another copy of this, if you wish, and another copy of it, and so on. And you can go on to the left as well. Okay, <clears throat> certain things about this uh, function are very important. One of them is the concept of amplitude. Amplitude, uh, well, you remember we called this thing the midline uh, between the midline. This was the maximum point of it. This was the minimum point of it. These are the crossing points, x-intercepts or midline points. Uh, <coughs> the height at the maximum point is called the amplitude from the midline to the highest point this is referred to as the amplitude. Of course, you're going down by the same distance. So amplitude of the basic sign is 1. And uh, the length you have to go to repeat the function is referred to as the fundamental period from here to here so that is period of this function is 2 pi meaning after every 2 pi it repeats itself traditionally you start going from 0 to 2 pi but you could start at any point and go 2 pi distance and the picture is going to repeat itself of course if you go 4 pi is also going to repeat itself so for that reason, sometimes this period is called the fundamental period uh, to emphasize that is the shortest time you need to wait before the function repeats itself. Well, what if I have y is equal to, say, 3 sine of x? Well, that's going to make the picture that much taller. So the amplitude now, the amplitude is 3. If I had y is equal to minus 3 sine of x, the function will flip upside down, but the amplitude still is 3. So amplitude always uh, taken to be a positive number. Now if you take y is equal to sine of 3x, we said this is going to uh, run 3 times as fast, and uh, all the events are going to occur three times faster. So the function is going to reach its period uh, uh, at one-third of the time that it was doing before. So this function is going to go up and down and come back. By the time it's here, we have only gone through 2 pi third before we repeat itself. So we, so we say this uh, function has a period of uh, 2 pi third. the period of this thing to function is 2 pi th third. So in general, if you have a sine of bx, then the amplitude of this function is just a, and the period of it, length of x you have to wait until the function repeats itself is 2 pi b. If in case b was negative, then you just take an absolute value of that. So, that uh, same thing happens for 
cosine same story is applicable to cosine uh, so our job is very short here what's the period of this thing the period is determined by that you run three times as fast so the period is two pi third what's the amplitude is how tall this is going to be and so on so amplitude <coughs> amplitude comes from here and we take an absolute value period comes from here so it's going to be two pi fifth amplitude absolute value minus three halves which is of course just three halves that's what you write period two pi divided by the uh, multiple of x so two is cancel and you get three pi you're expected to simplify so uh, that is all we have to do we have the amplitude and period of a sine or cosine uh, as you go toward your uh, careers in engineering or sciences and such uh, the, uh, the, these two concepts are going to be very important they show up uh, all over the place and uh, <coughs> uh, it's hard to miss so until next time good luck and god bless